Good evening. I am Nate Digidad and Majora's Mask. There, I, I did it. Anyway, what the fuck happened to January? I, I guess since this is going to be a pretty trivial episode which where I just do a bunch of shit um, to get a few items, I figure I'll start off with this because in reality I don't know how long it's going to take to go over all that stupid shit. So, um... Yeah, I figure I'll just, uh, just start with that. Since it's mundane as shit, unfortunately I'm not going to be reading a whole lot of dialogue because of that. Uh, but, whatever. So, I know this is completely irrelevant and pointless, but <laughs> if you make it past this, I'm sure you're going to be able to go through all the, 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 the lengthy, probably try and boring shit when I talk about that. But, um... Back in December, I, I started playing Valkyrie Drive. Not Valkyrie Drive. What am I talking about? I haven't played that game in a while. No one will know what that game is. Valkyrie Chronicles. Um, in earnest, I got the the remaster for the PS4 back in October as a, a bit of an impulse buy. Um, I don't know how I feel about that anymore because I was trying to rush through the game and I got surprisingly irate about it. But. I managed to finish early January, as the core reason I was playing it was to, uh, <clears throat> you know, an in-between, because I was still trying to download Neo, so... Then I spent January trying to relieve stress by playing Neo. <laughs> Did it work? Who fucking knows? Let's just ignore the fact that I was pretty sick at the time, too, and I didn't really have much of a voice, but whatever, that is irrelevant. Oh, fuck. This is gonna be hard. Uh, but anywho, yeah, it's... That's how things were, were going, so, you know how it is. So anyway, back to the, the, the concept, this is like a, a proof of concept almost. It's, it's an idea I spent some time fleshing out back in December. Haven't really put a lot of thought into it lately, which is kind of the reason I'm even doing this now, because I've been pretty lazy lately, so I, I, <laughs> I don't know how long it would have taken otherwise. Because originally I was going to draw some some shit to go with it, but, uh, it's pretty lazy, so I figured, you know, I'll just, I'll just do this, it's easier, it's simple, it's, it's less interesting, I did ha have a key visual in mind, but, you know, who knows, uh, but, but first, I'll, I'll just drop a few things, um, whenever I start just talking about stuff I've been thinking about, like, ages ago, like, almost a script that's in my head, uh, I'll kind of end up going into a mo mono monotonous voice, I apologize for that in advance. I'm gonna try and avoid that, but I, I can't guarantee anything. It's, my voice is kind of boring already, isn't it? So I don't know what I can do. Uh, but with that in mind, I'll also be doing a lot of unfortunate pauses as I'm trying to catch up with my brain when I actually start trying to remember all that, but what can I say? It happens. And finally, a little bit of an irrelevant one. This is it's just an idea I came up with, but I'd, I'd still be pretty disappointed if someone stole it and started profiting off it. So basically, half-assed idea of trying to get, I don't know, copyright shit is stupid. But yeah, I don't know. I'd be pretty disappointed, is what I'm saying. It is just an idea I came up with, but that's it. Anyway, let's get on to it. We'll start with the most basic of shit, which I didn't expect to get this far with you know, not having done a damn thing yet. I almost feel like I should have been reading what's going on. But whatever. It's, it's, I'm gonna drop the title. Did I, did I say that already? It's, it's simple. It's to the point. It, it tells you about the core, which I'm gonna talk about first. Anyway. Which is kind of a pain, because I had to spend a couple days organizing in my head how I was gonna go through all this. But hopefully, it doesn't turn out too much of a mess. I apologize in advance. No one watched this far anyway, so it's fine. No one's gonna watch this. I got it. It's okay. So anyway, simply put, the title will be something, so I mean, is something simple. Just D, and then the core concept. D Necromancer. It's about a necromancer. There you go. I'm sure some, somewhere's used that before, and someone's probably claimed it. Like, like that company that claimed the single word edge. Was that it? I don't, don't freaking remember. It's, it's pretty dumb. Uh, but anyway, yes, yeah, it's, it's simple, it's to the point, it's, the whole core idea was uh, about a necromancer, because for whatever reason, uh, in most mediums and shit, necromancers and necromancy is just straight up seen as evil, understandably so, but 
I wanted to flesh it out, give give characters some depth, because maybe it's just me and being stuck with American media for the most part growing up, but the, the, the villains are really fucking shallow. They just exist to be villains, I guess. So I wanted, I wanted to create a necromancer that was a little something more, give it a reason for being, and though it's it's pretty simple and cliche, I like to keep like that in mind. A lot of the developments and aspects that I fleshed out are, are pretty simple and generic and shit, so uh, don't expect much from me. I just stuck them all together in hopes of creating something a little more interesting. To me, at least. I'd like you to keep that in mind, is what I'm saying. Anyway, <clears throat> with all that said, um, how would one expect to flesh out a character that would practice necromancy, right? It's evil. All they want is to take over the world with armies of the undead, right? No. That's not it at all. That's why I'm trying to flesh it out. Oh, shit. There you go. Um, <clears throat> which is kind of the core element. Uh, somewhere around there, I apologize for pausing, just playing music in this game with a shitty controller is pretty fucking hard. Probably gonna use save states and maybe take, turn the flame limiter off at some point, but... Um, with that said, however, uh, the first thing that came into mind was having the character not be a necromancer to start. That, that keeps things nice and simple. You can see, see the growth to the necromancer, I guess. And yes, I'm just gonna refer to him as such because... Though I did come up with a name at some point, I I kind of forgot it, and it was it's pretty dumb. So I'm just gonna be just using names that are relevant to what the characters represent, which is lazy, but it's been done plenty of times. So what can I say? That's what we're gonna be rolling with. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, with that said, um, uh, shit, where was I? <laughs> oh yeah, right. The, the next romance is the, the backstory. The, whatever is isn't really important to what I had in mind because I was just envisioning a game or whatever because you know that's what I play I want to create something that I'd want to enjoy and of course the first thing that came to mind was yes a game simple easy to the point I know but um, yeah this is what I thought of and part of the reason I even went with a necromancer is because I wanted to, to flesh out that because even with just magic in general it's not really done very well in games but um, in particular, necromancy seemed interesting to me. But anyway, uh, to the point, the story is, is very, very simple. You see, the character lost someone important to them. That's that's a core element you want to bring them back to life, right? This It's been done before. We've seen it in fucking Full Metal Alchemist, some other shit. I don't know. It's not, it's not that complicated. So, uh, obviously I went with the most reasonable one, you know, a wife, you know, that's pretty simple, you can pretty much explain that, it makes sense, you know, unlike family or something, who you don't really choose to an extent, yeah, oh my god, this guy's a dick, <laughs> I went with that, it's, it's, the reasoning was a little more complex than simply, oh no, you lost someone you care about, your family, bleh, but you know, it's, it's, it's something a little bit more, I guess, I wanted to have a little more substance to an extent, but it's still pretty, basic and shallow, I suppose, at the end of the day. It's pretty pretty cliche still, so I want to keep that in mind. And that's what I worked off of, and I eventually gave it some more meat to its bones, like uh, um, a backstory for them. I, I guess I'll go, go through with that. It's, it's, it's not really all that important, but I, I spent so much time on it, I figured I might as well go through it. Through, yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of a lot. I, I don't know how it ended up happening, but... Uh, I'd probably be able to get to it pretty quickly, though. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best with that. I don't know how well that's gonna go over, but, um... Uh... Shit. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I started that. It's... It does seem simple in my head, but I can't... I can't fully remember it all, so you'll have to excuse me in advance. Because, first of all, I, I fleshed out the main character and his, 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 his history. You know, his family. You know, the, Starting off, if you're gonna if you're gonna make a necromancer guy who turns to it, you gotta have oh, shut up, bitch. He's, he's gotta have a, a background in magic. So you know, I made him a mage. You know, pretty s straightforward. He's got a mage's towers. His family does, I guess. Oh my god, frame man, I gotta, gotta fix this. You have to hold up. Ah, wrong button. 
So anyway, as I was saying, his, his family, you know, he's, he's from a family of mages, so... Because they live in the mages' tower, it's pretty straightforward, and it, it just seems cool. I don't know, I like fantasy and magic. What can I fucking say? Towers are cool. Stone towers? <clears throat> but, you know, you gotta go even more with into cliches, and... What's more cliché than wars? And the family getting killed in the war. Wow, how crazy. They're mages too, even though... For the sake of the story, I had, I had them just being, uh... Practitioners of more utilita- Utility- ut Bleh! Magic. But, you know, how it is. Wars... You gotta- it's, 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 Bleh! Enlist in them, and then they die, and then... Stuff. Got him. <laughs> I'm too oversimplifying this. Long story short, because of because mages and stuff were used in the war, the, the town that was located near their tower, which they obviously utilized for financial reasons, because people would come to them for help. Obviously, you know, because they're mages and shit. They they can heal. And I, I'm gonna have to write this down again. I'm gonna. Uh, <coughs> that's that was the core idea anyway to start with, but you know after what happened with the, the... The village got kind of raised because of mages. It's cool, cool story. So, with his family dead, he was stuck there all alone being ostracized and whatnot. So, you know, he had a kind of tough life there. So, well, that's a start. Yeah, that's a, that's a fucking start, isn't it? That's a nice little start. <clears throat> and from there, where do we go from there? Well, of course, we have to bring him somewhere. Because if he's gonna have get married to someone, he's gotta meet someone, right? That's that's what you need to do. This that's the hard part, though. <laughs> he's a freaking mage, right? He's kind of an isolationist by nature, I guess. So I I did I did what I could do. I made him fall ill, incredibly ill, and <laughs> because no one in the town gave a shit, he had to leave. And because I tried my best to create a world there was there happened to be a town a town filled with magic users that specialized in healing why in a world that i tried to give a sort of magic isn't all that big type of feel as in not everyone can practice it like in black clover or something my god i can't explain this very well i apologize i feel like i should just write some half-baked short story or something but whatever so yeah, that's that. That was the, the start. You gotta give him a reason to go somewhere and meet someone. But, but you gotta give the other reason, the, the, the other person a reason because oh my god, what? Five ninety nine. Because you know, just meeting someone isn't enough. We we gotta we gotta have them moving about. Cause you see, this village, I just simply envisioned it, you know, as a village. So when he gets there, he kind of. Fuck! The fuck! So anyway, he makes it to the village, um... But, because it's such a long journey, and, you know, it's, it's a monster-filled world, it's dangerous! And shit, and I keep talking to people, fuck! <laughs> and he kinda passes out from exhaustion and his wounds on a hilltop overlooking the village, which just so happens to be a place a certain villager girl hangs out brooding. Why? Why brooding, you ask? Well, you see, <laughs> more backstory. <laughs> Hooray! You see, this is gonna get pretty grim, right? Yeah, mm -hmm, you can see it already. <clears throat> Turns out her family sold her to a freaking local lord for money because that's what they do. They sell their services, but some of the villagers there are a little more twisted and sell their own children, especially the ones that don't give a shit about it. It's pretty fucked up and pretty stupid, but I don't know, I figured I'd... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how I came to that, but I was like, eh, maybe, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just do this. This, this could work. It's pretty fucked up. <clears throat> but that's how I kind of gave her a push, so she, you know, have a reason to be there and have a reason to leave. And have a reason to help, of course, you see. Coming from a family from the town, she happened to specialize in healing magic. Oh, how convenient! Oh my! Wow, so convenient! Obviously, it's convenient. That's how I made it. 
So anyway, with her desire to leave and his desire to have his wounds healed, and well, obviously, since he didn't have to compensate her because she just wanted to leave and explore and I don't know, I, I can't remember the finer details. I had something in mind. You'll have to apologize for my less than stellar rendition of what was in my mind. Well, that's just the start. That's just the the starting. That's that's how it starts. It, I don't know how I would have done the. If, if we're actually a game, it's probably something you'd end up seeing as a, a reward for getting the true ending or something. I don't know. I, I don't feel like I just want to throw it out there. It doesn't really necessarily need to be there. The premise is just you're a goddamn necromancer trying to big back your dead wife who was killed. Why? Because you took her away. <laughs> See that lord I was talking about? He's pissed. He's a, he's an evil dude. He would he was gonna do some fucked up shit. Simply put, why? Because that's how a villain works. And even though that he wouldn't be the core villain of the story, as your core el the core element is you're trying to bring back your dead wife, he does have a place in the story. Funnily enough, I did put some thought into that, and various endings, which is also one of the reasons I wanted to go with the game. Because, you know, you can do that kind of thing. You can have multiple endings. And as I was thinking on that, I tried to come up with ideas of how to make that work, and I don't know if I did a very good job with that. I did spend some time on it. And, yeah, that's, that's, that's basically just the start. I, I kind of skimmed over some stuff because... I don't know. The first thing I should note about all that put together is that you're not just gonna try and bring back your wife. You have to, you have to go around collecting shit. You have to traverse the world. Now we're gonna start talking about gameplay because even though somehow or other you <laughs> you found a book on necromancy among her things, which is the sole reason he even came up with the idea of performing such a ridiculous and seen as evil act. Yeah, I don't know. Fucking, it's, it's hard to explain this. Simply put, that's that's how it all went down. But I don't, I don't even know why or how this even works in the idea of constructing a magic system or anything really, but part of his <laughs> the reason for the journey through the world is to collect things that were left behind by... How am I supposed to call her? Just the wife? That seems kind of stupid. The healer? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Long story short, that that's, that's part of the reason, because even though it wouldn't be directly stated right away, and it would be explained as you make progress or among other things, you, you, you go on a journey and there, it's, how do you expect emotions to build? You can't just have it happen. Not really. I'm not really good at that kind of shit anyway. I'm a terrible writer. I just kind of threw shit together and that's kind of what happened. And in all honesty, even with all that said, I only had two particular locales that would end with a, a boss fight involving characters that had been met by them in the past. Which is kind of, yeah. But rather than going too far into that right now, I suppose I should talk about the simple the simplicities of the, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a game. What am I supposed to say? I don't, I don't know. I guess I should start pretty simple. Uh, and that would be with... <coughs> yeah, core gameplay, yeah. Uh, uh, what was I, was I saying something about, uh, yeah, side-scrolling. I don't know, it's simpler to make something in 2D, I guess, and I feel like a lot of that is lost in this day and age, you know? But obviously, I need to, I need to have some sense of exploration going on because just a 2D world, we're going left to right. You gotta you gotta have some some segments where you can travel into the background to you know create some more areas. I don't know. That, that's just the simple of how the world would work. But the core <laughs> the core to it, it would be exploration and whatnot because you're a necromancer, right? But how does that how does that fit into exploration? You might ask. Well, simple. I tried to come up with something mildly creative that, um, I'm trying to look at this here, what the fuck am I missing? Okay. Sorry about that. Um, is, is create a unique and distinct way of having him play in a game, and the way I ended up doing that was 
by giving him unique abilities! Yay! And to do so, well, I just thought about one of the things that you might think of when you think of goddamn necromancers. And besides bringing shit back to life, it's bones. Why? I don't know. Probably fucking Diablo 2. A lot of bone motif shit there. So, with that thought in mind, um, controlling bones. It took me a while to, <laughs> to really come up with what I thought was a good idea, which was kind of ended up going back onto something I remember a lot from when I was younger. I can't really think of what or why, really, but I remember playing a lot of bridge buildy games, and I was like, how about if I do that and use the Necromancer and have him use bones and shit to build bridges? It was ridiculous, but it would allow a level of exploration and because you use a magic gauge, you gotta use magic to do it, so you gotta be clever about it, and well as limited bone resources, and bone quality, and all sorts of cool shit. But also, not, maybe not that. I, I don't know. I'm not really sure how exactly I would flesh it out well, but that was, that was what I thought of. It's not particularly amazing, but obviously besides that, I end up having to come up with more ways for you to get bones, because the first place you'd get them is, you know, from your, your family graveyard behind your tower, from your ancestors, and they, they were mages, so their bones have, you know, powers, I guess? I don't know how to put it. Which gives you a nice starting point with some nice, nice quality bones when you, you start out, but that's the thing, though. That's just a, that's just a start. I'm not really sure how to explain further because let's be honest it's, it's kind of weird just thinking about it you know making bridges with bones and how the pieces fit together it's kind of complicated I never really took a um, a biology course or anything so I'm like how how would I make this work I'm not really sure I don't know if this guy's gonna show up, so I should probably not be here, and I have to wait anyway. God fucking damn it, I set the time to go fast. This is stupid. But anyway, yeah, it was the core motif, and I was like, okay, how can I make this better? Um, obviously by having some some action element. Sure, you use that to explore the world, but you're also a mage. But you haven't studied in a while, so I gave a reason for villages to exist and have lots of shit in them. <laughs> because you're a mage... You use magic, but you need to use that for necromancy. So I gave other ways to fight. You know, you can you can get weapons and shit, but you, since, as I said, your character's a mage, you have to learn how to fight, and that costs you money. And as such, you gotta you gotta resource manage. It's it, basically what I'm saying is I I put a lot of thought into that sort of stuff because having villages is all well and good, but having stuff to do there, even if the the core element is just like you got you gotta bring back your wife, but you know giving you as a player something else to do too for fun like like fighting monsters and fucking claiming everything they have and not just some rare drop or something it, it took a little bit basically but why do you keep showing him your goddamn fucking ocarina you dumb fucker there you go anyway yeah that's 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 kind of what i started with cuz i i really wanted to give some more to the villages, because in, in a lot of games, they have a tendency to be empty and shit. And I want to have a world with more stuff going on. Toss in the guild there so you can go and get quests for all sorts of shit. You know, make going between towns worthwhile, because maybe someone wants to deliver something to another one. Who knows? I want, I want some substance there, so you're not just focused purely on... You know, and and you know, have some reason to explore too, which allows you to get some of the the collectible items that tie into various endings and shit, like um, how the evil ending I planned basically involved you finding a bunch of evil artifacts from some evil necromancer in the past and having it consume you and you become a villain or some shit. And even if you were to successfully bring back your wife, <laughs> she's not necessarily all there. And, you know, your character ends up pretty fucking evil. And another ending where, let's just say, your character is actually basically dead and is like a lich because you died so much. <laughs> or something. I don't know. It's, 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 it's something I put some thought into, but I don't, I don't really know exactly where I go with it. 
It's because collecting shit, you never know what's going to be good or bad. So I wouldn't want to force a bad ending on you just because you collected an item. But on the same hand, page, I don't know. I also really... <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I'm sorry. On the same page, basically. I, I just I just wanted something there. Because cause for the, the good elements, stuff you need to get the true ending, I was just like, okay, what am I gonna do? And I was like, you need a lot of sh fucking magic to bring someone back to life. That makes a lot of sense. So I was like, how about these massive magical artifacts that are filled with energy and shit? I was like, oh, that sounds pretty solid. Let's go with that. <laughs> and I, I didn't really spend a whole lot of time thinking about that, because I, I couldn't... At least right now, I can't really remember half of them. I, I know that there was some pretty basic shit, like the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> That's a pretty generic one. Or, or the Tree of Life, or Yggdrasil, or whatever they fucking call it. And stuff like that. It's pretty generic. You got you got your, your philosophy... Fucking alchemist stone, whatever. I don't fucking know what it's called. No, oh, I don't have any money. Wow. I was gonna do this, but I don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> but anywho, yeah, that's that's some stuff I put some a little bit of thought into. He's like, oh, that's that's okay. And I also thought of giving you a way to purify the evil artifacts, maybe for a new game or maybe for the true ending. I, I don't really know. How I didn't really spend as much time as I would have wished on it, but that's what I ended up kind of doing a little bit. But I don't know how well it would actually turn out, because I'm terrible when it comes to actually fleshing out stuff, which is why I said giving a short story would probably be better. But anyway, as I was saying, like, you know, I want to create a game where just killing something gave you some significance. Like, if, if you found bandits and they were, like, a decently equipped, they'd be hard to kill, sure. But when you did kill them, you, you get shit from them. Like, imagine this, if you will. You don't have to a bandit. He's, he's got some armor on. He's got some weapons. He's got some backup weapons. He's decently equipped. You kill him, all that shit disappears. <laughs> uh, you get a random drop. I don't know. What am I talking about? And I'm not talking about something like Skyrim or something. You're, you're a fucking mage. You can make a hammer space. You can store all that shit easily. And you can sell it all, too. Because that's it. That's convenient. But but obviously, I also wanted to give a reason for blacksmiths and shit to exist. So buying a weapon's better than some worn-out shit you get from a bandit. But still, you can sell all that stuff. And it's actually worth something. That, that That's what I was thinking, anyway. I, I don't know. But beyond that, the, the, the scope of the world in my mind right now isn't isn't all that big. And I guess it took a lot less time to talk about this than I thought. So I honestly don't know what I'm going to do right now. I feel like I kind of glossed over a lot of shit. And uh, that probably kind of ruined a lot of what I'd been thinking about. Because, in all honesty, out of the core story elements in playing through the game... All I really had, or have, was, <laughs> what, like one decent one where you're you're v visiting a, a small castle town that, um, what the heck, something's supposed to happen, right? That, um, oh, okay. <laughs> Basically, there's, this, the, the noble family there wasn't particularly big, and their youngest daughter was kind of just left her own devices and whatever and as a child <laughs> you meet her as a child and um fuck I'm trying to word this out basically just, she just had uh, a young boy that she was friends with since she was a child but my god this is turning out badly basically he fell ill and you, you guys were there you and the healer whatever I'm gonna call her I don't know and she helped him out and gave her a gift so she'd stop crying because she thought he was going to die. Yeah, as I said, pretty cliche and stuff, but I don't know. I figured I figured that'd be a pretty okay, maybe, point to start with that. Who knows, though? I'm fucking terrible at coming up with shit in reality, am I not? But, yeah, that, that, is, that was that. I don't, I don't really 
know how good that is. That's pretty, pretty dumb. But, uh, the whole reason I'd have that is so you go back and you have to fucking to try and get it back. Well, I feel like a goddamn idiot wording this wrong. Because in reality, I was like, okay, what am I going to have her give? And obviously, I was like, well, what would she have? Maybe some, some family something from her family? Probably not. Because, as I said, she was just kind of being abandoned, so... It's, it's kind of hard to come up with something, really, that worked, but... Why am I in here? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's trying to... It's uh, trying to come up with shit. And it's kind of not as easy for me when I'm trying to come up with finer details. It's... It's a bit... A bit rough for me, so... Though I did spend a little bit of time on it. It didn't... It didn't turn out very well for explaining it. You know what I'm saying? So basically, that's why you're going back there, because, you know, it's, it's something that was a part of her. Something she had at one point and uh, gave away, so you're, you're kind of getting it uh, as part of your ritual. I don't know. I don't know why I think of magic as being ritualistic on some, uh, sometimes, but I feel like, to some extent, that makes it more interesting, at least to me, so that's, that's what I went with when I was coming up with it, so... You're kind of going around the world gathering artifacts like that. Not really artifacts, really, but... <clears throat> Truth be told, that's kind of what I did. The only other one that I had in mind was, like, just this monster she helped heal. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not really sure what I was going to do exactly with that, but, you know. That's what I was saying about a bad ending about dying. Those people, they remember you, <laughs> but you still get gravely wounded during your fights, so that's... That's basically what I came up with. Nothing too amazing, but... <clears throat> I don't know. It probably seems stupid. It makes me feel like an idiot. Just talking about it, I guess. What's it say? I can't fucking read it. My writing's too goddamn small. Let's see here. Okay. Anyway, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it, really. I... For some reason, I, I feel like there was something more. I, I kind of briefly touched upon some stuff, but I didn't really go too much in depth about it. So I feel like the whole thing is kind of meh. I apologize. I felt like I put a lot of time and effort into it, and it just came out as some half baked bullshit. I'm sorry. Uh, I felt like I'd be able to spend more time talking about it, too. Because I spent a little too much time playing Neo. Which probably affected how I wanted some of the, the combat to be in regards to fighting with weapons. Having different styles associated with different... Maybe dojos. That's that's silly. In each town or whatever. Just just to give some substance, but... I don't know. I, I figured that would be okay, but what can I say? But yeah, obviously the whole element of having your character have to learn how to fight just seemed more interesting to me, because, yes, he's, he's, a, he's a mage, he can use magic, but he also hasn't used magic in a while, so he has to learn how to do that, and all that shit, and it seemed cool to me at the time. But I'm not really confident anymore, and that's probably one of the, one of the reasons. And yeah, doing such a half-baked job of this. I wasn't really confident in the idea that much. Oh well. But, that's pretty much it. I don't know. If someone actually managed to watch this far, thoughts, I guess. Maybe, maybe something more. I know I could probably give it some more substance, but I'd probably have to actually write it down, because it's been too long. My brain just kind of went... But, unfortunately, when I play games, my, my brain just keeps going in fucking circles, but it's focused on other things, so I end up completely forgetting... I ended completely forgetting about all this shit, so I, uh, feels kind of bad. Like, I put all this effort into it, and it's, it's basically gone now. It's, it's pretty sad in my mind, so, yeah. Regardless, that's basically it. I don't know. I feel like I don't know what to say anymore. I, I spent so much time planning on just having that, but, yeah. Regardless, I suppose I'll get back into playing the game now and discussing what I'm going to be doing. The whole point of this entire run is basically just to get 
the bunny mask, but there were a few other things I'm I'm getting to. I'm just gonna skip to the second night because I don't have any plans for the second day. I don't know why. It's been so long since I played the goddamn game, so I honestly can't tell you how little I actually remember. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. I was gonna do the lottery shit too, but I don't really have the cash right now. Probably gonna spend some time stalking that money. Anyway, next time I actually come up with a clever idea, I'll be sure to spend a lot more time writing it down. I only spent like one day, what, two days writing shit down. I was like, hmm, hmm, why can't I think of anything? <laughs> why can't I progress? Is basically what it was. I don't know. I, I had a stint back in, back in, was it, 2016, where I was writing a lot, but... I don't know what it is. I just I just didn't feel like it. For me, when it comes to writing, I like doing it by hand, like pen pen to paper. But I don't know. I just don't really have anything good to write on. And especially when you're writing like hundreds of pages, a simple notebook just isn't gonna be able to hold it all. Especially with how sloppy my writing is. I did I did write some short like story concepts. Which is like, okay, I think this idea is cool. How about I write it down, sort of shticks. But unfortunately, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bad at fleshing shit out. I can come up with all these ideas in my head, but beyond that, I can't give them more, like, substance. Like, character dialogue, I fucking suck at that. Everything just seems stupid to me, and I'm like, why would I... Why would I bother? So rather than having those interactions, I just had the the pieces like oh hey this is gonna happen but how am I gonna make it happen yeah it's it's not it's not really something I have a huge amount of talent for the reasons should appear pretty simple but let's not get into that that's stupid I'll just that'll just make me feel irritated again I kind of end up having that shit fill in my mind again recently and it, it irritated the fuck out of me <coughs> There are few things that I actually feel nostalgic about in a good way. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot of negativity. It's probably why I have a, such a cynical mindset. Borderline nihilistic. Hooray! I like saying that phrase. It's stupidly funny to me. I, I don't know. What can I say? What can I say? But at least now that we've finished most of uh, the stuff that'll take a huge amount of time, uh, I, I, can, I can wrap this up pretty quickly. I know it's pretty stupid after I was like, oh, I'm gonna focus on this, and then I just like, okay, I'm gonna get the shit done. <laughs> it feels pretty stupid, but what can I say? This is, this is one of those, like, um, chill episodes where nothing really happens, but, you know, you can you can get a sort of feeling of progress, I guess. I don't know. Like, I could go down that hole and probably get a heart piece, but I'd probably get my ass handed to me. It could be fun, but I'd get killed, and that's, that's not really something I'm up to. But, at the very least, since I'm, yeah, I, I'm sure you noticed, right? I'm not recording in 1080p full screen, so I can actually use the frame limiter to get a higher frame count. And thankfully, my PC is actually working nicely. Though I'm sure part of the problem is, is probably um, Firefox. That probably doesn't help. And I'm pretty sure I slowed down time again, didn't I? Or did I speed you up? It's hard to tell. I'm so used to a certain color that I can't remember which one's the right one green or blue. And this guy does appear here, right? Maybe it's like after midnight. I don't know. If he doesn't show up, I'm just gonna move forward anyway. <laughs> As one does, stepping forward. Gosh dang it. Yeah, I was playing F-Zero yesterday. I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but I was like, I, I, I'd done a, a run of the first circuit and I ran out of high drive space, so I didn't actually have the full thing stored for whatever reason they uploaded it I was like oh shit you know I just noticed this isn't complete what's going on <laughs> so yeah I just ended up with with that and I kind of got upset and I never played it again but also I kind of suck at that game so what can I say it's fun and all but anyway I am no longer part of the, uh, the living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I'm filled with regret. Did I read that probably Properly? I don't know. Translation, I'm disappointed. Oh, Moon, I've died. 
<laughs> I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I taught my new dance to someone. It's got some cool music. This is this is one of the things that I actually like about this game. It's got some good music. I gotta give some some credit where credit's due. Even if I don't like the Zelda games as much anymore, I I do enjoy the music. Like the Song of Healing. That's one of my favorite tracks ever. Just going to the the, the clock tower and just sit there. I fucking love that music. But this game in particular, I feel like it has so much good music that I kind of got upset that I wasn't able to get an actual physical copy of the soundtrack. He wants to spread his dance. I've taught it to you. Now make it into a popular dance craze. Hooray! Why is my... Okay. <coughs> was I talking about... I just paused for a second and I already forgot. I'm counting on you. Um... Oh yeah, music. That's, that's right. Yeah, for anyone who remembers... Club Nintendo or whatever, that was, that was only a couple years ago, right? Where it kind of just got shut down. They didn't keep track of my shit properly, so I wasn't able to get any rewards and shit. So I, I kind of got upset about that. I, I kind of really wanted that when I saw it. I was like, that's fucking cool. I want that. I want that. And I didn't. I wasn't able to get it. I'm pretty sure I'd, I'd technically gotten enough that I should... Oh, well, that's bad. When did I save last? Okay. Good. I saved beforehand. That's that's a bit beyond me right now. I forgot how much damage shit makes you take in this game for no reason half the time. <coughs> Anyhow, that was that was that was the thing. What was it? What was I talking about? Hey, look! It's the Water Temple song. Can I pull this off? What am I fucking retarded? That's not the Water Temple. That's the green one. <laughs> Anyway, let's just forget whatever the fuck I was talking about. Uh, I gotta move on. I gotta move to the... Get another heart piece, and then we can, uh... Uh, yeah, do the bunny hood thing. That's the last thing we're gonna do. I already, I already talked what I was gonna talk about, so I don't really know what else to say. I feel like I have to draw something up, though, just, just to actually put something in my thumbnail. Otherwise, it'd just be kind of blank and kind of avoid the point of what this episode was focused on. Besides just boring shit. You know, I was I was trying to talk about something. It didn't work out so good. What can I say? It's been a while. I'm not particularly good at that sort of thing anyway. What can I say? What can I do? Not a whole lot. How about you? Check me out. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Except Claptrap's kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, I had been talking about the music and I, I wanted... I want to actually have a physical copy is what I'm saying. Yeah, I have it digitally somewhere, but... Who knows? Who knows? It's not really something I listen to all that much, but it does have good music. This makes me sad that it's all kind of the same at the end of the day. And then we have Breath of the Wild, which I haven't played, because I can't play, for obvious reasons. There we go. Cool stuff. <coughs> Yay, heart piece. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a ch change that may or may not be good. I don't know. I feel like the one thing that shined was the dungeons, and I'd be interesting to see how they could have created something unique and distinct. And I feel like they still could have put a lot of that stuff in the game, like the hookshot. The game's all about exploration and shit, giving you more tools to do it as you progress through the game that are also used to solve puzzles in a particular dungeon. I think that they could have fit that in pretty well, and it could have still worked, but I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. Plus, with a world that's more like a world, you could actually have a dungeon that fits into that world and maybe is more aesthetically interesting. I don't know. Like, the castle. Uh, why am I talking about this game? I've only seen it being played and talked about. I can't I can't really say much more than that. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe part of me just really thinks that would be cool and wish I could play it, but I don't have money. Eh, what can I do, though? What can I do? Not a whole lot in my given situation. Oh, right, I'm supposed to buy maps from Tingle. Oh, well, don't need it. And we're off. Not to get fucked over by a birdo. You know, the disappointing thing is there's no music right now. That's a sad, sad... Oh, my God. It's pretty sad. Oh, my God. The horrors. Brought low and driven to the dark, darkest dungeon references. Darkest dungeon references. Sorry. I had to point it out. I had to point it out. Hey, look, there's Tinkle. I haven't even talked to him yet. And we won't for a while. I don't fucking need maps. 
I feel like the maps are pretty pointless in this game, especially once you've played it. It's like, okay, and this is what the place looks like. Cool. Good to know. But not really. Mostly because I'm actually surprised, seeing as I, even though I've never really truly played it all the way through on my own, I, I remember the game fairly well. It's pretty funny, really. But yeah. Yay, Dawn of the Final Day. This part's gonna get probably pretty boring, which is kind of one of the reasons I even mentioned how boring it was gonna be at the start. We're just gonna be walking around collecting chickens, and I always, for some fucking reason, uh, excuse me, um, end up having trouble finding the last few. It's kind of, I don't know, irritating? Is that the word? Simply put, yes. That's what it is. It's pretty fucking irritating. You can't even get a Pona song yet because you have to get here before, you know, the second day. Which, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Otherwise, you could just go in here. It's pretty cool that you can come here and see a Pona, but... Yeah. Considering it's a ranch, I'm kind of surprised they ever just locked up in a tight enclosement. She doesn't seem aggravated or anything at all, so it just feels kind of silly. Oh well, whatever. Moving on. I'm, I'm a little worried about progressing more in this game. I feel like I'm gonna start playing shit more, like for this, because I've been kind of playing more in my own time. I feel like I'd be better just focusing on one thing, but... At the end of the day, I don't know how I feel about focusing entirely on this game, so... Yeah, in Hollow Knight, yeah, I kinda, kinda, sorta, maybe, sorta... Yeah, I like the game. It's got some nice visuals and stuff, but for whatever reason, I haven't finished finished it. I, I beat the boss the first time around, but I haven't gotten like the true ending or whatever. I went through the trouble of going through the the White Palace or whatever it's called, but I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know how to feel. I'm pretty stressed out and playing that game. Being a platformy centric type game probably didn't help me all that much. Well, what can I say? It kind of reminds me of Facts that I do, and I have good memories with that game. Good memories. I like that game. It's rare to play an NES game with like, music like that that I enjoy, for the most part. But, yeah, speaking of that, I was talking about F Zero. I, I don't know what it is, maybe it's just. Just me. You always hear shit about the sound chip for the N64 and whatnot. I'm not really familiar with that sort of thing, but... <coughs> not being able to put out good music. I mean, like, let's let's take Mario 64 for an example. It's been a while since I played it, but the music's pretty good in that game, right? But certain aspects of it aren't as amazing. I don't know, maybe it's just the particulars of that particular game, as it was one of the early releases. Is it a launch title? I don't remember. Where's the, There it is. Comparing it with something like freaking F Zero that sounds pretty rock heavy and pretty fucking sick. Amazing. I know. What am I talking about? <clears throat> I just gotta say that. That sounds really good. And though playing this game now, this sounds pretty good too. What am I talking about? Why? Why would I talk about that? That's silly. Where the fuck is the last chicken? The chicken! Mad chickens! I just feel like I've been actually listening to music in games more. That's probably why I'm bringing it up. Usually I have uh, music playing in the background. Kind of an asshole in that way, you know what I'm saying? Just gotta have music playing loudly all the time. To an extent. So it's usually not that loud, but what can I say? I, I, see, this is what happens normally. I'm like, okay, I got all the chickens. Where's the last little bastard hiding? And it's always somewhere obvious that I missed. Probably doesn't help that the camera isn't exactly amazing, and then my B button is like my fingers, my poor fingers, but not really. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna bring that up when I was talking about Valkyria Chronicles, not Valkyrie Drive. Why, why did I talk about that? The music in that game is just so boring and generic. Um, Valkyrie Drive, <laughs> yeah. Um, Anyway, Valkyria Chronicles, all that, the, the, you know, warlike themes, because, you know, the game. 
I don't know, it just didn't appeal to me. That probably was probably another thing. Most games I play have music that'll get to me and I like, but that game, man, it's just, it's just not, it's not all there to me. It probably doesn't help. Where's the last goddamn chicken, man? I was hoping to wrap this up quickly, but what can I say? This is just what happens. Is that chicken up there? My god, I'm gonna have to figure this out on my own. This is terrible. How could I let this happen? Where the fuck is he? I promised boredom. Oh, there he is. What the fuck is he? I I've been over there, haven't I? Is he moving around? Is that fucker moving around? Bastard. I'm coming for you, you little shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, looks like we're coming to the close. I didn't actually expect it to take this long, like, to get all the chickens. And then if I were to let go of the B button, all this has happened and fuck myself over. You know, now I'm running into a problem, though. I'm not really sure what else I can do. Obviously, I, I can go to the swamp, which is the next thing you gotta do, but... That brings about another problem, though. There's a bunch of shit I can do there, but I feel like doing everything I can beforehand, which I guess is probably a little mundane and boring, but whatever. I should actually head over to the swamp now and uh, collect the camera. Because, truth be told, I might as well do it now anyway. No one's gonna watch. No one's gonna watch. This is fucking stupid. I just feel like I might as well get everything I can done when I can, just to keep things nice and simple. The camera does have a heart piece tied to it too. And I can get some more rupees there, though it will involve me running around some more, but can I say, it's kind of what ends up happening in this game early on, which I do actually kind of enjoy for some reason, actually having to traverse the world on foot. I remember playing Dark Souls for the first time and thinking, holy shit, I want to travel the entire world without using a bonfire. And I did it and realized once you've gone through two areas and head back, everything respawns. <laughs> so you can't just clear the entire world. But you can do it in Dark Souls too. <laughs> and I was doing that. Mostly because I, I actually really enjoy the combat and I enjoy a good grind too. Stupid, I know, <laughs> but... What can I say? There's something fun about it. It's rare for me to actually say I'm having fun doing something, but I've always kind of loved that sort of thing in games. It fills my time up. It might seem boring, but hey, as long as the combat's keeping me intrigued, I don't mind. You'd actually be surprised at how simple that game is. Wasn't expecting a cutscene. Hey look, it's that guy. He looks fucking stupid. He looks like a, a baked bean with some baked bean. Why do I think of bean? I always think of beans first. I don't know what it is. Tail and I drew this with a skull kid when we first met him. Tail, tattle, I f oh, fucking... He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone. What friends? Your, your, your spirit of the dead, maybe. No, that's something else, isn't it? They magically disappear and shit, right? It's like the first place you get a scene like this, right? How the heck did that speedrunner get past this again? I think he... Um, what did he do? Oh shit, I can't remember. I think he used the, the fairy fountains. I think, I think that's what he did. Because he went to get the <coughs> Zora mask first, so... He's able to get to the fountain there. <gasps> Which is pretty sick, I might add, but it's not something I'd be able to pull off. Definitely not. I can't even get the infinite sword, sword glitch properly. I suck too fucking much. Oh yes, me and my two glowy fairies, we're warm now. Wait, what? Is he inside that, or was he outside? It was hard to tell. Do do do. Look, we brought back the forest temple theme. Yay! This is the only part in the game, if I recall correctly, that has it. It's one of my favorite themes. Wahahaha! Do 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 boo boo boo. 
What is he drawing with on there anyway? Like chalk? That would get washed off pretty quickly. What the f what the hell? I mean, I know it's easier to plaster something onto a texture like that, but and white makes it stick out more. Whatever. It was it was because he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he did, just because of that. I murdered this man to steal his faces. Ooh, it's shaped like a heart. It must be filled with love. Evil and malice. And once he got his power, he abandoned us. Because he's a dick. Dun, dun. Blue, dun. What? I didn't even touch my right stick, but whatever. Eh, yeah, having some control stick issues. Don't mind me. You gotta get this shit done. I kind of want to listen to the music on the last day, because once the timer appears, it's one of my favorite themes too. So much good music. God, I feel like I spend a lot more time talking about music than I did about the concept I had come up with. The idea. I just want to call it a concept, because I feel like I gave it some substance at some point, but now, now I don't know. Oh well. Huh, in theory I could have gotten another heart piece, but considering how annoying having to get that goddamn thing is every single fucking time, I feel like I might be better off just leaving it at that and doing it when I have all the places unlocked. So I don't have to deal with that every single time. I feel like a full heart out of it, too. Funnily enough, hey you sir, you won't talk to me. This bull child's off playing hooky again. Child his age has no business searching for fairies. Oh, ahem, welcome. <laughs> well then, why don't you show me the pictograph you've taken? Huh? This is your first time entering the pictograph contest? Well, the Swamp Tourist Center is currently holding a pictograph contest. It's open to all ages, from children to adults. For nice photographs taken in the swamp, the boat ride will be awarded as a special prize. <coughs> so, would you like to enter our contest? Oh, but to enter, you first must take the boat cruise. Boat cruise reservations are handled at that window over there. You're interested to go for... Okay, so I wasted my and your time. Apparently... Apparently... Apparently. Wait, is she okay now? I can't remember. I don't think she is. Either that or I have to pay money. I can't remember. I might... I might still be able to do this. Yeah, I might as well do this now. It's... It's it's a bit of a... It's a bit time-consuming, but I'll... I'll do it. Possibly. And we're off to do it. Except the frames are shit. What? I might be running out of space. You know, I'll, I'll leave it here for now. I'll leave it here for now and, you know. This will be all. Sorry for the, the boring bullshit. I was expecting it to possibly be more interesting, but I don't know. I feel like it ended pretty bad. But regardless, thanks for tuning in if you enjoyed this somehow. Just tell me your thoughts. I don't know. Maybe I'll actually take the time to flesh it out a little more. Anyway, bye then.